Hello, my name is Roxanne Dahl, and this is Dana Gomez. We are occupational athletic trainers here at Consumers Energy. The focus of today's stretch is active isolated stretching. With active isolated stretching, you are going to move your body part to its end range, give it a little push, then return to neutral. We will do eight times with each body part. With stretching, follow what your body can do, not what it can't. Let's begin. Let's start with a nice deep breath. Big stretch at the top, exhale on the way down. And we're going to rotate to one side, up, hold it, get a, and exhale on the way down. And opposite side. And exhale on the way down. Next, we're going to flex forward, let our arms hang. We're going to do shoulder circles. Change direction. Next, we're going to do swing our arms, pendulum front in front of us from side to side. Next, we're going to swing our arms front to back. And relax. Gently roll your back up. The first stretch is our neck. We're going to bring our look over our shoulder. We're going to give a little push and return to neutral. You can keep this arm down behind your back, so keep that shoulder down. We're going to rotate. Ready? Rotate. Push back to neutral. This is number six. Last one, number eight. And relax. Switch sides. Hand behind your back. Rotate over your shoulder. Give a little push. Back to neutral. This is number five. Number eight, last one. And relax. Next, we're going to bring our ear to our shoulder. Keep your hand behind your back. Give a little push down. Back to neutral. When you're stretching, make sure you are breathing, not holding your breath. So number five. Number eight, last one. And relax. Switch sides. Air to your shoulder. Give a little push. Back to neutral. Number five. And number eight, and relax. Next one is flexion. We're going to bring our chin to our chest. We're going to tuck it in, look down towards us, and give a little push with both hands. Ready? Tuck, look down, push. This is five. And this is number eight. And relax. Next one, we're going to rotate over our shoulder. And we're going to look up. You either can push at your chin or pull at your head. And then relax, bring back to neutral. This is number six. And eight, and relax. Switch sides, rotate over, look up, give a little push. Back to neutral. When stretching, you want to stretch at your own pace. Number six. And relax. Next one is chest. We're going to put our arms out in front of us, thumbs up. You're going to pull your arms back, squeezing your shoulder blades nice and tight, and then bring it back to neutral. When you get to number four, which is this, we're going to rotate our thumbs down and now pull back again. Squeezing your shoulder blades nice and tight when you do this, and then bring it back to neutral. And relax. Next one is shoulder. We're going to bring our palm up. We're going to give a little push and then bring it back down. For those of you who like an additional stretch, you can bring your arm up, bend at your elbow, and then give the push. I'm going to do it with elbow bent, and Dana's going to do it with elbow straight. For a variation on the stretch, you can change your hand position. Right here we have our palm up. You can do your thumb up, palm down, or thumb down. 
whatever position you feel, the biggest stretch, you can do it that day. This is number five. And this is number eight, last one. And relax. Next one is scaption. We're going to have our arm at a 45 degree angle with our thumb down. We're going to bring it up to our side. Give it a little push. That's number six right here. Number seven. Last one, number eight. Okay, we're going to switch to the opposite side. So we're going to bring our palm up. Bring it up overhead, give a little push, pull back. If you want to keep your arm straight, you follow Dana. If you want the elbow bent, follow me. And relax. Scaption again, thumb down, bring it to a 45 degree angle, lift it up. We're going to go back to the other arm this time. We're going to bring our arm up to the side, thumb up. You're going to bring it up, give it a little pull, or if you like, you do it at the elbow and give it a little pull that way. switch sides. Thumb up, bring it up, you can arm straight or arm bent, either way. And number eight, and relax. Next one, you're going to have your arm out straight in front of you, or you can have your arm bent. We're going to rotate your palm up, Give a little push, and then back to neutral. If you like, you can have your arm bent and do the same thing. With the arm straight, it's going to get more shoulder. With the arm bent, it's going to get more elbow. And begin. This is six. And relax. This time, we're going to do the opposite. You're going to palm down and give a little pull. This is six. And relax. Switch sides. Arm out in front of you or arm bent, either way. Palm up, rotate out, away. And relax. That's time we're going to put our thumb down and rotate. This is number five. And relax. Next, we're going to focus on our hand and wrist. We're going to pull our fingers back and then give it a little pull back down. Um, you can either do this with arm straight or arm bent, either way. You can arm up and arm down. Arm down. If you want arm straight, follow Dana. If you want arm bent, follow me. I'm going to do eight of these. With this stretch, you can also change your angle. You can change the angle um, that your arm is moving. That's a more advanced stretch. This is six. And relax. Next one, we're going to make a fist. Gently pull down and bring it back to neutral. Same thing with this stretch. You can have arm straight or arm bent. You can also change the angle of the stretch as well. Six. And relax. Switch sides. Arm straight or arm bent. Pull your fingers back and make fists and pull back. You can also change the angle with this as well. This 
and relax. Make fists, gently pull down, same thing. Pull down eight times, and you can either keep your arm straight in front of you, or you can change the angle that your hand is located. Six, and relax. Next one, we're gonna do with our hand in a handshake position. You're gonna pull your fingers down, and then back to neutral. Seven, eight, relax. Next, you're going to pull your thumb up, give a little push back, and then back to neutral. This is number eight, and relax. Same thing on the opposite side. Handshake position, bring your hand down, and then back to neutral. And relax. Bring your thumb up. Give a little push. Back to neutral. Number eight. And relax. Next one, we're going to do our fingers. We're going to have our fingers in front of us. We're going to lift one finger. Give a little push. And do that with each finger. We're going to finish the hand, the fingers in this one, and then we'll relax and go to the opposite hand. Next hand, pull your finger up, give a little push, and do that with each finger. So we're going to go two times through each hand. And relax. Next one is circles. Press circles, change direction and shake it out. Next one, we're going to stretch out our side. We're going to bring our arms up overhead. We're going to lean to one side, and you can either pull on your wrist or thumb, lean to the side, and come back up. We're going to do this eight times. This is five. And eight. Relax. Same thing on the opposite side. Lean to the side, give a little pull, come back up. And relax. Next, we're going to stand with a little wider grip stance. We're going to do trunk twist. Two more. Each direction. And relax. This concludes active isolated stretching for the upper body. Have a great day. Hello, my name is Roxanne Dahl. I'm one of the occupational athletic trainers here at Consumers Energy. The focus of today's stretch is spinal health. Our spine has six degrees of motion, and we're going to focus on all six degrees. Flexion, extension, side bending to each side, and rotation to each side. Let's begin. Start with a nice deep breath. Big stretch. Exhale all the way down. And up again. Rotate to one side. Exhale all the way down. And opposite side. Big stretch, and exhale the way down. Shoulder rolls. And change direction. Add your arms. Change direction. Come across. Go up and down. And relax. We're going to begin with our neck. We're going to rotate to one side. Give a little push. Hand behind your back. We're going to hold for 8 to 10 seconds. 7, 8, and 10, and relax. Switch sides. Rotate. Seven, eight, and relax. Next, we're going to bring your ear to our shoulder. Put your hand behind your back. Keep that shoulder down. Give a little push to hold it down there. 
10, and relax. Switch sides. And your shoulder, give a little hold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. relax. Next, we're going to bring our chin to look over our shoulder, look down, put our hand behind our back, head, and give it a little hold. Six, ten, and relax. Switch sides, rotate, look down. And behind your head, give a little hold. Seven, eight, and relax. Look up. Next time we're going to put our hands behind our head. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades nice and tight. Pull those elbows back. You can look up towards the ceiling. Taking a good breath. After deep breath, you're going to gently arch back. After a nice deep breath, you're going to gently come up and relax. Next stretch, we're going to stand with our feet together. We're going to reach up overhead, lean to one side. You can either pull on your arm or drop your arm and give this a hold. Nine, ten, and relax. Switch sides. Bring our arm up, lean to one side. Five, and relax. Come back up. Next, we're going to bring our arms out. We're going to bring our over, over, and we're going to do a reach and roll. So you're going to reach, reach as far as you can, and then roll back. We're going to do three of these. And relax. Switch sides. Reach, and roll all the way back. We're going to reach, and roll back. One more. And relax. Next one we're going to do is you're going to stand with one leg crossed in front of the other. We're going to flex forward. You're going to relax your muscles. Just kind of hang for a second. You should feel a stretch in your lower back, your buttocks, and your hamstrings. Gently um, round your back and gently come up. Switch sides, flex forward. Same thing, just kind of relax, let your body hang there. Take a nice deep breath. Let's count eight, nine, ten. Gently round your back and gently come up. Next, we're going to stand with our feet in a shallow position. We're going to flex forward and kind of hang for a second, try and reach for the ground. Then we're going to take one hand, bring it onto the opposite foot. And if you want the additional stretch, reach up over the ceiling and then look up towards the ceiling. Five, six. And relax. We're going to come back to center. Hand on the opposite foot. Reach up toward the ceiling and look up to the ceiling if you want the additional stretch. Five, nine, ten. And relax. Back to center. Kind of hold that stretch for a second. Take a nice deep breath. After a big exhale, you're going to round your back and gently come up. Next is hamstring. We're going to either use the floor or you can use a chair if you like. If you like to use a chair, we're going to put your foot up. You're going to square up to your body. Pull your toes towards your nose. Flex forward. And then you're going to rotate your foot towards the outside. We're going to hold the stretch for eight, 10 seconds. And relax. Now you're going to rotate your foot towards the inside. Flex forward. Hold this for 10 seconds. And relax. Switch sides. Stand with your legs square. Pull your toes towards your nose. Flex forward from the waist. And rotate your foot towards the outside. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. 8, 9, 10, relax. Rotate your foot towards the inside. Same thing. Nine, ten, and relax. 
gently come up. Uh, next is piriformis. We're going to stand in a gentleman's sit. You're going to bring your foot over your knee. You can drop yourself down. You can use a chair to help hold your balance. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And we're going to switch sides. Same thing. You're going to cross your ankle over your knee. Sit down. Use a chair for balance if you need it. Five. And relax. Next is Superstar. We're going to do a front lunge. We're going to step back. Front leg bent. Back leg straight. All toes facing forward. We're going to stretch out our hip flexor here. If you want an additional stretch, you can reach up overhead. If you want a more advanced stretch, then you can arch back. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Gently come up. We're going to switch sides. Front lunge again. Toes facing forward. Front leg bent. Back leg straight. Heel down. Arms up overhead if you want an additional stretch or more advanced. Arch back. Five. And relax. Next stretch, we're going to do the same thing we're doing a front lunge. We're going to do a twisted prayer. You're going to take your elbows, arms in a prayer position. You're going to take your elbow, bring it to the outside part of your knee, and reach up um, and twist up towards the ceiling. If you need an additional stretch or you feel unsecure, you can put your hand down to the ground and reach up towards the ceiling. Five, six, and relax. Opposite side. Front lunge, hands in a prayer position, elbow to the outside part of your knee, and twist. And relax. Now they come up. Next, we're going to do an adductor squeeze. You're going to keep your feet together. You're going to bend down into a little bit of squat with your knees coming out. You're going to put your arm in between your knees, and then you're going to squeeze. Five, six, and relax. And then gently come up. Next is knee to chest. We're going to bring our knee to our chest and hold it up there. If you have a chair, we can do this also. You can put your foot on the chair, then you can lean forward. I prefer the chair. You get a better stretch. You can lean in, reach towards the ground. I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. And relax. Gently come up. Switch sides. So you can do the same thing again. Knee to chest, or you can stand, put your foot on the chair, reach down in between. Nine, ten, and gently come up. Let's end with some nice three deep breaths. We're going to take a nice deep breath. Straight, reach up, and exhale way down. And then up and rotate to one side. Exhale way down, and opposite side. And exhale the way down. This concludes our stretch on spinal health. Have a great day.